Today we are driving from Flore to Sarande, which is one of the best drives along the coastline. On the way there are endless beautiful beaches and castles. And this is Porto Palermo Castle, or also known as the Ali Pasha Castle. We spent a really nice day exploring and had amazing food. He was standing behind the car. <laughs> he didn't want us to go, <laughs> but we have to go. The Albania Riviera is where you will find the best hidden beaches in Europe. It stretches over the entire shore along the Albanian coastline from Vlore in the north to Xamil in the south. It is roughly 150 kilometers of largely unspoiled beaches and breathtaking mountain scenery. Yeah, one of the things we learned about Albania since we've been here for around 15 days Do not cash out money from the banks in lek. Instead, cash out in euros Because if you cash out from the bank in lek, you get a low exchange rate And then they take your money Second, choose your bank so, uh, lots of people mentioned uh, on uh, yeah, online, Instagram, YouTube that you can choose this bank and that bank. We visited all the banks, uh, the bank probably most of them, like Tirana Bank and ALB, ATP, Copy, G, whatever, and also the Credience Bank. Lots of people mentioned that Credience Bank has uh, no low fees or no fees, which is not true anymore. We wanted to take 500 and they asked for 8.5% fee on the transaction so we were about to lose 50 euro for 500 euro withdrawal instead go to the bank we used we took each of us 500 euros and we paid six euro per transaction that's it about to arrive to that viewpoint and look at the cloud. That's not fog. That is, that is the cloud. Looks so nice. So we have the cloud and the ocean. Supposed to be the best view of the Albanian Riviera. So we're gonna move to another spot. I think the best view here is mostly around 5-6 when the sun is a little bit uh, this way, like to the right side. Number three, exchange your money to lack before you spend it in Albania. This is what happened with us and we learned from it. So if you exchange euro to lack, you get more lacks instead of uh, paying one euro as if it's 100 lakh if you exchange it you get 104 lakh for one euro now we pass by this city called Dermy Dermy so nice beautiful houses and churches and mosques in the mountains in the mountains Super surrounded nice. by only mountains and yeah, you have your uh, sea view all the way from the balcony. You just look at the beach. Number four, what we learned about Albania. 
when you go in Albanian streets, wherever you go, there is dogs and animals, like dogs and cats mostly, everywhere. So make sure you do this. When you visit a restaurant and you eat food, most of the time, let's say, we keep our food on the table because we're full and we're not gonna take it home, right? Instead, do this. Ask for a bag or a box, take your food and take it with you home because trust me, on the way home or wherever you go in Albania, you're gonna find animals and they will love you for it. Just give them the food and spend some time with the dogs or the cats. Once you leave Tirana to Flores, around the, it is packed with police. So be careful and drive the speed limit. Even though if you don't see a sign of the speed limit, just drive slow. Because they stay in really like hot spots where you can't see them. So we just stopped the car, we found another viewpoint and this one looks actually so beautiful. One hour and 17 minutes out to uh, surround there, but I guess we're gonna stop at this beautiful thing over there. We're not gonna miss that for sure, because it looks like a castle. We stopped to visit that castle. And we're going in. Porto Palermo Castle is surrounded by the ocean and was used as a strategic defense point. The castle has amazing views and the triangle shape of the castle is very unique. The walls were built with sturdy stones to withstand invasions and protect the surrounding area. Oh, nice. This was amazing. Yeah, but you can see like all the old stuff still here. Like the whole castle is still here. Some holes up there to breathe. Probably that was fireplace. We had to pay 600 lakh to enter that castle. But I wish you can still find the stuff there. It used oh, to be. This was here. the kitchen. It used oh. to be the kitchen, that second one. Yeah. And here is Ali Pasha's room. So that's him. That's the king. Probably Ali Pasha is the, the one who owned it, right? That's his room. Yeah. So this was the officer's room. So there was a police here. <laughs> There's always police. But yeah, it's just like you see an empty room. So this is oh, the well. Yes. This is where they used to collect water. Hello? There's no <laughs> water. <laughs> what is there? And this was the prison. Oh. So this was the prison. Oh wow, the prison is big. That's a really dark room. That's your <laughs> highest light. Oh my god. How can I make it more? That looks so scary. Yeah. There is like no windows. Nothing. Nothing. It's just one dark room. Yeah, really dark. I don't want to know what happened here. <laughs> but there's holes. From here to the other side, like to the outside. And yeah, 
The darkness says enough about it. I think so. It was probably the scariest thing ever to live in that prison. You or don't to be. have light, daylight. Even daylight doesn't exist inside. There was metals here. Probably this is where they used to hang them on the wall. Yeah. But that was scary, actually. We just got out of prison. <laughs> And we're going to the... Munitions Depot. Munitions Depot. So here they hold their munitions. Yeah, I wish but... they put some light so we can see. <laughs> yeah, but it's also just an empty room. So it's hard to imagine like where it was, how it was here stored. Yeah. What kind of munition they used in that time. Yeah, you can't see too much. So many questions. Yeah, what else? Did we go there? The junctions? Mm. Maybe we came from the junctions. Oh, but what is this? No clue. These are the junctions. Oh, Let's what see. is this? Servant's room. The castle has a mysterious underground tunnel that leads to the sea, which makes good food for stories about hidden treasures. So they are made to keep uh, the heat away, I think, in summer, because this is on the shore. This is the soldier's room. This is also another soldier's room. So yeah, use your imagination. Yeah. And guess what was happening here. And see, from upstairs, the view of the castle. those as you can see in all castles movie and wars these used to be to see and fight through those holes this is where we are We're going around it now there's a lot of animals bro. now to surround it <laughs> yeah we couldn't time. miss that spot but uh yeah right it but was I nice know. it was nice the good thing about this castle is that it's surrounded uh by the ocean and it's on an island that's what makes it special i love the ocean so that's why i like this castle and i took really nice photos Five, the food in Albania, oh my God, it is so good. And one of the things you notice in Albanian uh, uh, cities, you don't find fast food restaurants. You could find, but they're so rare. Like in all our uh, drive through Albania, we found only one KFC. I'm sure there is maybe a little more, but all the cities that we visited, we literally walked all around the cities and we just found one KFC. Pizza places, we find few and uh, mostly Greek restaurants that some of them like serve kind of fast food, but it's way better and much more healthier. We are finally in Saranda. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look where we live. At the beach. Yeah, not so lucky with the road. <laughs> it's blocked next to where we live, but I think we can reach it from the other side. This is where we're staying. We arrived in our new room. And the woman that opened the door, she was very nice actually. She gave a beer <laughs> and an energy drink. <laughs> yeah, this is our place for the next three days. And most importantly, we are next to the beach. 
We're going to eat somewhere. They're super hungry. So hungry. Yeah, you barely see locals here in Saran. <laughs> Feels like a zombie apocalypse. Um, indeed. <laughs> Feels like nobody lives here. Now we found one restaurant and we're going to try it. We finally found a place. Yes, one that is open. We had we ordered grilled chicken mix and mixed meats. So a bit of everything, yeah, like uh, dal, chicken, lamb, pork, everything. What they chicken, have. Chicken, cheese kebab, blah blah blah. Yeah. That is the second dish. Oh my god. First one is gone and it was actually good. I, I usually don't eat pork. <laughs> this is called sujo. Yeah, but it's this grilled. I love. It's I love it. So good. We ordered tzatziki sauce because yeah, here they always serve nice stuff. But the saucing, like you need something to dip so you can swallow the meat. <laughs> Smashing it. My favorite. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. This is the best way to support our journey and we would appreciate it a lot.